All right, so joining me today on the Out of Character interview are some friends of mine that I've known for eight years now. We've been on tour together, and you may know them from several steampunk events. Ladies and gentlemen, here are Frenchie and the Punk. Hi, I'm Samantha, or Frenchie. Je suis la Française of Frenchie and the Punk. And I'm Scott, or the Punk of Frenchie and the Punk. So you all holding up all right uh, in the uh, time of quarantine? Yeah. Yep, yep. We, uh, yeah, we're, we're home. We're doing our thing, even though um, usually we're out on the road. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of a shift. It, it's a shift. Yeah, we, we, you know, we are doing the thing of, like, you know, washing the hands and uh, staying home and not really going out that much. We've had mm. some stuff delivered, so we're keeping our, uh, you know, yeah. our travel, you know, going to stores and stuff way down to zero. Yeah. yeah. And when we're not, you know, doing that stuff, which isn't a, a lot of time, um, I feel like uh, the, the live streaming, we've been doing live stream concerts from uh, Batfrog headquarters here in New York. Uh, it takes up a lot of time. It's amazing. Yeah, like, it's amazing. We, we build sets in our, in our basement with whatever, uh, you know, stuff we have around. And we, you know, I didn't think it would be such a so much work. Intense. Yeah, we're super busy, which is which is good in a way, I guess, because, you know, it's such a strange and stressful time. Um, so it, it's really keeping us busy doing the live streaming. And for anyone who uh, is not really familiar with uh, your music or, or your act, uh, you want to tell everyone a little bit about what Frenchie and the Punk is? Well, in 2005, I was hanging out with uh, Scott and he was doing a solo gig in a bar and I had a couple of glasses of wine. There was a tambourine on the floor and I picked it up and I started doing some tambourine. <laughs> this is true. Actually. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually exactly how it started. But we had known each other for years, and um, he had already left the punk scene when we we met. He was he's an old punk rocker, and I just loved his music and um, started doing percussion. So it was a very kind of neo medieval kind of thing acoustic in the guitars, yeah. and yeah. like yeah, in the beginning, kind of an organic thing, you yeah. know. Um, you know, like Samantha was saying, I grew up playing punk rock and some speed metal kind of stuff. I had parents that were into gypsy jazz, and so did Samantha. So yeah. you kind of put that like Django Reinhardt and Johnny Ramone kind of thing together. It's the 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 sound has kind of changed and evolved through the years, and um, we did a lot in the beginning. We were doing a lot of pagan festivals. Um, then we started doing a lot of fairy festivals. And then we got kind of scooped up by the um, steampunk community. So we're doing tons of steampunk events all over That's the country. That's where we met you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just, you know, it's constantly evolving. And it's a, it's a fun show. I've seen you several times. And you know, it's high energy, acoustic cabaret and, and drums. and uh, Which is, I, I guess, what you're doing on your live streams as well. Just, oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, we're, we're doing them all themed. So the first one was kind of like a tip it, tipping of the hat to the pagan community. Um, and then the second one was a tipping of the hat to the, to the fairy, fairy festival, festival community. Yep. And then last week was bats and, uh, not bats, um, cogs, cogs and bat frogs. Yeah. So that was a tipping of the hat to the steampunk community. And then next week is an all French, parce que je suis, je suis française. Alors il faut absolument qu'on fasse un, un show en français. So next week is all French. <laughs> um, the French tunes that we do. Because I also write in French. Because uh, I'm, I'm originally from France, hence Frenchie and the punk, because he used to do the... <laughs> <laughs> makes sense, doesn't it? It makes perfect sense. <laughs> well, um, if anyone out there would like to tune in and see you, as well as uh, check out your website, or if you have any way that they can support you, uh, why don't you just let them know where they can find you? We have a Patreon page, and that's patreon.com, Frenchie and the punk. Of course, our website, uh, frenchiethepunk.com, and uh, YouTube is where we'll be streaming the... Uh, concerts yes uh, of course the obligatory facebook page instagram yes tumblr yes. twitter because like everybody all our show th this is actually our livelihood this is all we do is play music for our life um and all of our shows like every musician they've all been canceled you know march our, our April, uk may, tour june. yeah, may, we, yeah. Gone. we were supposed to tour the uk in may yeah um so yeah so we're um the live streaming is is really great. Um, there's a tip jar that people can tip us on our website. There's also a Venmo address at Frenchie and the Punk. Um, all that stuff is on our website, and we super appreciate our fans' support because um, I don't know what we would do. With, you know, I mean, it's it's like life has stopped. But yeah, this this is how it is for for musicians. I mean, we we depend on our audience and our fans to support us, and we we depend on 
playing live music and having that interaction. So even if we can't leave the house, we know this is how we're making it happen right now. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how fortunate are we that we have technology that we can actually bring this stuff to people? I mean, it's otherwise we'd have to rent a flatbed and just <laughs> set up a PA and just drive around <laughs> and play on the street. I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting <laughs> idea. Maybe we'll do that. Too. Maybe we should do that. <laughs> Either way, you, you, you find what works. Yeah. yeah, it is really good to uh, to see your faces again, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you, each other in person again before too long at some point. And we'll have to do another train tour. Or ah. something. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Back in 2013, we we took the Amtrak all across the country with uh, it was Frenchie the Punk, Hog is Dead, This Way to the Egress. Yeah, yep. That was pretty wild. That was the crazy train. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Crazy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Well, Scott and Samantha, thank you so much for uh, joining me just to talk a little bit and uh, stay Have home, it. stay safe, and keep on playing the music. Good to you see too. you. You too. Thank you. Thanks.